Hey guys, welcome to Ifadrilla, where we cook everything healthy with instant pot. If you're new here, my name is Olina, and I am obsessed with my instant pot, and I want an entire nation to be obsessed with instant pot, because it makes your dinner so easy. Last week we took a break from filming a video because we were busy with renovations and had to catch up on life. So this week we are back. And today we are making, I'm so excited because this is something I grew up eating and in Ukraine it was called plov or pilaf. So today we're making instant pot chicken and rice. That's right, it all cooks in one pot and I think every one of us ate a different version of chicken and rice, but this is my version. It's simple, it's flavorful, it's using brown rice to make it healthy, and it takes like 22 minutes to cook. And again, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel because you don't want to miss anything. And that bell, push it, <laughs> click it, and every time new video comes out, you will get an email and we post. Monday and Friday, Wednesday is for instant pot tips, and Friday is for instant pot recipes. 9 a.m. right here on iFoodReal. And now let's make instant pot chicken and rice. Hi guys! Hey guys! Hey guys! We are going to chop an onion. And if you don't know how to chop an onion, uh, you trim off the end and you remove the outer peel. And I usually go for one more layer of uh, white, then it removes the outer layer that's hard to chop. Now, in case you don't know how to chop garlic, here's what I do. I take a chef's knife and I'm gonna smash them. And then the peel comes off super easy. And then you can mince it. That's where good knives really help. And I'm gonna link ni my knives below. They're really, really good and they last forever. So about carrots for instant pot chicken and rice. My eyes <laughs> from onion. <laughs> um, you can shred them on a boxed grater, coarsely, or today I'm gonna chop them into matchsticks because I like the look of it and the texture. <laughs> but you can also buy matchsticks. Okay, chopping carrots was a lot of work, so maybe you should shred them. <laughs> now we're ready to cook. So we're gonna press saute on Instant Pot and let it preheat until the display says hot. You have to give it three to four minutes. That's how long it takes and don't rush because it has to be hot. Now we're going to add two tablespoons olive oil. Ooh, nice and hot. And we're going to saute onion and garlic for three to four minutes. And I'm not going to add carrots because as soon as you add carrots, they have a lot of moisture and they will start to release the steam and they will not brown um, onion and garlic. So I want more flavor from onion and garlic. That's why I'm not adding carrots. I want them to be browned. The instant pot is not like your skillet. It doesn't brown as fast or as brown it does the taste. But don't expect really browned onions like would be on the skillet. Still, it helps to release the flavor. 
And here's what I like about the stainless steel of Instant Pot is that you can use the stainless steel spoon to steer without scratching the pot. Now we want to add spices. And before we do that, we need to press cancel on Instant Pot so it does cancel saute. And here I have oregano, thyme, cumin, salt, and pepper. What it does, sauteing spices for 30 seconds or so, helps to bring out the flavor in them and make them more flavorful. But at the same time, they burn easily. That's why I pressed cancel. Make sure you grab everything from the spoon. Spices do stick to the spoon. And we're ready to add remaining ingredients and cook it. So now I can add carrots. The order of ingredients in, in some pot usually um, is good to have vegetables, protein, and then your grains. This way it doesn't burn and you don't have to stir anything. Okay, so now chicken, chicken. Um, you can use two pounds of chicken breast or chicken thighs. Um, I had a whole chicken that I cut up, so what I'm gonna use is um, two chicken legs. And I'm just gonna lay them there. And I have two chicken breasts, and this is total of two pounds. Now we're going to add bay leaves. Now we add rice, and I'm using brown rice. We only eat brown rice because it's healthier, it has more fiber, it has the bran attached. Um, this is long grain brown rice, you can use any brown rice just keep in mind that short grain one will be more mushy i personally love jasmine or basmati brown rice because the grains come out more separate it's just hard to find it on my island where i live no it's not but just kidding um i like to buy i don't want to sound um fancy but i like to buy organic so that's hard to find organic brown jasmine or basmati rice Anyways, I'm using long grain. And you use white rice. I am expecting that question a lot. No, you cannot use white rice. You cannot use white rice because it cooks differently. It needs different amount of liquid and it needs different cooking time. And I haven't cooked white rice in 15 years, so I don't know how much. I don't test white rice, so brown rice it is. And it's better for you. <laughs> so you just um, dump it on top. Remember, we are not steering. And I like to rinse all my grains because I don't know where they have been. They could have a lot of dust on them and who needs that? Okay. And now we're going to add um, water. I'm using three cups and two thirds. <laughs> three, two slash three cups of water. Um, I find that if you're using only chicken breasts, as they're more dry, they will release less moisture. So you need a little bit more water. It's all in the recipe. So then you will use three, three and a quarter cups. Um, but I have legs, so I'm gonna use a little bit less water. Just to be safe, I'm gonna dunk the rice into the water. And that's it, we're ready to cook. So close the lid. This is backwards for me. All right, oh, I'm good at this. Okay, make sure the valve is to sealing. That's the first thing I always do after I put the lid on. And then you press um, pressure cook. If you have Instant Pot Duo, you press pressure cook and make sure it's on high pressure because it has high and low pressure. Or you have 
if you have lux, this is what I'm using today, although I have three instant pots, um, you press manual and there is only high pressure on lux, so um, you don't have to worry about that. I don't worry about the rice or multigrain buttons because they never what um, I need them to be. That's preset time for, I don't know, not me. 15, 20 minutes to come to pressure. And when the pressure builds up, you will see this floating pin will pop up. It's hard to see it on Lux. Um, on Duo, it's more prominent. Um, so it will pop up and while it's coming to pressure, it's okay to see a little bit of steam coming out from this valve. And then the countdown from 22 minutes will begin. So after that, stay tuned. So after 22 minutes, you do quick release. And we've already done that outside. You basically turn the uh, pressure release valve from sealing to venting. It's all event. How good does this look? Okay, so now we can steer. Woo! This looks good. Kids love this. So rice is good, it's salty, and, ah, hmm, it's not that pushy. It's good. So now you steer. And as you steer, chicken falls apart. Like we had legs, so it does fall apart. If you see bones, like if you use bone in chicken, you can remove them if you want. I don't care about that. Same with bay leaves. You can remove. And you can serve. Oh my God. Looks so good. You can serve this chicken and rice as is. Or you can add your favorite herbs. And here is the shocking part. I'm Ukrainian and all we eat is garlic and, and dill. <laughs> so I'm going to add dill. <laughs> um, just like them. I'm laughing because every recipe has garlic and dill. Well, almost every. Or honestly, it tastes amazing without any herbs. How good does this look? Okay, I'm gonna remove the bay leaf. Amazing. I think we're ready for the taste test. Okay, as usual, I got cold. Taste test. He looks cozy today. Because I'm the best tester. She said. Okay. That's easy to show up and eat. Anyways, let's try. I can't wait. It's hot. It's good. It's hot. No, it's not hot. Wow. Wow, Paulina. It's hot. <laughs> Blow. I should know by now that I should eat from the sides. I always tell that to my kids and I always bring my own mouth. Chicken, mm -hmm. so mm. soft. Mm. So good. The spices. Mm -hmm. The spices make this amazing. The cumin and oregano and thyme mm. and satin. I'm usually not a believer in satin and instant pot, but in this case, yes. Oh, and so simple. I love my job. Okay, yeah, that's true. Thanks to me. Like my grandpa used to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, there kidding. we go. And kids love chicken rice. Mm. Rice is pretty good. It's not too mushy. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like covered in sauce. Oh, this is so good. And uh, this is the best recipe for instant pot chicken and rice out there. We tried a few. Yeah, it is one of the best. It's my favorite thing to oh, do. Oh, so simple. In instant pot, yes. And everyone loves chicken and rice. I think we're just having lunch on Can national say, TV. Can you say goodbye to people and eat? Amazing. 22 minutes, one pot. 22 mm. minutes Dill. and everybody is happy mm. I mean please make this and you can make it with frozen chicken 
I believe there are no changes to the recipe. And I removed the bones. Mm -hmm. So, I hope you like it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up below and subscribe right there. And come back next Friday. No, actually on Wednesday when we do the tip. Yeah. Mm. Bye, guys. Bye.